Myself too, but here Brett we Ball, are. Our senior referee here at XWE, the XWE Heavyweight Championship, a title that means everything. Brent lifting that title up. Both gentlemen ready. Checking the corners. It's title fight time. And it is big fight feel here at Heartbreak Brawl. Championship Kuda defending against Mike James. Mike James new to the Kansas wrestling scene or returning to the Kansas wrestling scene as we mentioned earlier. A big thing here, let's see, how is he going to approach the big man Kuda? 
by James, taking some time to go to other areas, such as Crimson Crown and other places out there in Arizona, making a name for himself. Also traveled down to Texas, became a champion out there. Now, looking to add some gold out here in Kansas. Maybe uh, showing a little bit of arrogance here toward Kuda, smacking the knee. No, it looks like Mike James is going for a single or side leg takedown there. You know, just trying to get Kuda to sprawl and see where he's at, but Kuda not buying into it. Kuda's slow to react on that, but just knowing that he's got the weight differential and the power there of, you know, over Mike James, Kuda can be a little more tactical in his striking and in his oh. grappling here. Speaking of that power there, Kuda letting Mike James think he had a little bit of leverage with the two-step back to show him, no, this voodoo doctor's got some power, Bubba. Back her on up and let's reset. Both these athletes are incredibly gifted. Yeah, absolutely. You look at Kuda coming in, walking up. Nope, Mike James ducking under the lock up there. Kuda annoyed is the best way to look at it. I mean, Mike James went back to the lockup. He had a striking opportunity, but I think he's just trying to test oh! it. Oh! And Kuda launching Mike James. Kuda flinging him like some of them gnats out there on the bayou. Nice pace reset here by Kuda. Mike James tries to use a little bit of that speed, and Kuda just not giving into it. It's gonna be a test of power here for Mike James is what I'm catching. Well, and I think you, if you're Mike James right now and you've known, okay, grappling with you isn't working, so I've gotta go with the quick strike method. And that's what you see him adjusting to. And that's, you know, an early adjustment in a match like this can be everything. When you come in with a certain game plan and it doesn't work and right off the back, I mean, that can be a tough thing to overcome. Look Mike James. Keeping that leg on right there on the ankle of Kuda to keep him grounded here as he works on the head a little bit with some strikes. Kuda, the power pushing it back. Mike James, kick to the midsection here. An axe kick to the back there. Upper back of Kuda. Getting a lot of kicks and a oh. stomp maneuver, but it looks like that was mostly knees across the lumbar there. Looks like almost a Meteora variation on the lower part of the back. Going right back, targeting there with a huge elbow, middle rope. Get himself a two count there. Kuda still powering himself out. Big push off by the heavyweight and champ. And see, you were right there. He's targeting that lower back area. And it's it's noted that Kuda, you know, obviously does a lot of lifting maneuvers. But one of the big things Kuda does is he jumps in the corner and lifts himself up in a splash-like maneuver. So if he can stop Kuda from having the power to push himself up, he eliminates that whole portion of Kuda's offense. Oh, sweeping that leg. Didn't take him down. There it goes. Effective and kicking there right there at the thigh. He's working on that knee effectively here of Kuda. There you go. Now looks like he's working on that arm, kicking various parts from the shoulder to the hands. Is Oh, one too many times to the well there. Oh, Kuda fighting back there. into it. Oh, big time lariat by Kuda. Yeah, it looks like a big, I'm not sure if that was a clothesline or a forearm strike, can't see exactly from here, but definitely took Mike James off of his feet. Mike James may be fighting the hands a little bit here. He grabbed him in a test of strength. Kuda called for this early on in the match and Mike James refused to give it to him and now Kuda is forcing him into the test of strength. Maybe Mike James thought that the leverage was going to be a little different there and his positioning was going to be better, but not understanding the power of Kuda as he lifts him up here. A little bit of that wrist action, bending it there too. If you look, there's ligaments and tendons inside the very soft parts of your wrist that with enough pressure could snap him back and that definitely disables the use of your hands here. Kuda with a smart strategy. Kuda letting go of the test of strength because of the count of four. You can't have a submission hold no matter what. Um, when an opponent is on the ropes, whether that means they're climbing the ropes or not. So Mike James smart to get up on the ropes like that. And really, now see, look at this. He's taking the leverage on Kuda. That high angle pressure in the shoulder and wrist really eliminates a lot of the strength that Kuda may have had. And it oh! was all up. A variation of 
almost a Famouser with a, it's a, it looked like a top rope twisting Famouser here. Yeah, it looked like, you know, that's what I would call it too, a top rope twisting Famouser, maybe with a little bit of an arm bar variation lock in there, I'm not sure. But looking at these technical strikes across the jawline of Kuda, you land some educated strikes like that, and that's an easy way to become champion. Mike James, a brawling individual here, likes to say he's made of hand grenades and razor blades. Mike James dropped a knee on Kuda's head there. Kuda getting up now. Ooh. And a kick to the temple again. I mean, Kuda has eaten some big shots here by Mike James. Kuda hasn't really recovered from his head being driven into the mat with that, that famous their variation here, that unorthodox style offense here by Miracle Mike James. Mike James going up to the top rope, sending out, what is this? Oh, double stop, planning, planting. Shades Those straight into the chest. Shades of former XWE heavyweight champion Kip, Kit Reaver. Mike James looks to be methodically scouting Kuda's position here at the ring, and Kuda is in a bad way. Oh, the arrogance of the smug menace of the Midwest, Mike James. Oh, oh. <laughs> Kuda with an upside down headbutt. You ever seen that before? Never seen that in my life. Unique offense is the best way to describe Kuda. And let's go back to that double song. I think that was a, a throwback callback, as you will, to Mike James, you know, the man who defeated for the XWB Championship actually was Kit Reaver. That move made famous by Kit Reaver here in XWB. Mike James saying, anything you can do, I can do better. And trying to put away Kit Reaver with the move by his father. You know, both these gentlemen taking this title match very, very seriously within recent weeks, studying film with one another. And the power on display. Scotty has got one, two, three, four. Dropped him like a sack of potatoes. At least seven seconds in the air. Mike James, the blood rushing to the head, and Kuda driving him back first to the mat. I cannot believe the strength Kuda just showed. And here it goes. The. Oh! A Vita Bob! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your winner and still the XWE Heavyweight Champion, Kuda! Kuda retaining the heavyweight title in a hard fought match. Up against Miracle Mike James. Saw some unorthodox offense on both ends here, but Kuda withstanding the storm and the attacks on the midsection to retain that title. shown here by both Kuda and Mike James. Both these competitors well liked here in the XWE Universe. And Kuda understands he was in a fight tonight. All respect goes to Miracle Mike James and Kuda both. What a contest by two amazing competitors. Absolutely. I mean, you look at uh, a matchup like this, and you've got to know, like, that is going to be a hard-fought battle. Uh, Mike James making a definitive statement with his return here over the last couple months. He is here to stay, and it, it, I would not doubt that he'll be XWE champion someday. Mike James, if anybody ever had any doubts about his place on the XWE roster, and if he can go, clear those doubts out of your mind now. Miracle is proven. He may not be everybody's favorite, but he is definitely here to stay on the XWE roster, as is our XWE heavyweight champion, Cooper.
Oh, after the action of that, Mr. Helms. Give it up one more time. time for your XWE Heavyweight Champion, Kuda.